recording now. Hello everyone and welcome to today's session, Introduction to the Library. This is the first in our fall webinar series. So today, I just wanted to let you know that we're going to have about 15 minutes of presentation and then time for questions, both recorded and unrecorded. The recording of this will be posted to our YouTube page so you can view it whenever you want. And it will also be emailed to anyone who has uh, sent us a, um, who, who also registered for this event. So today there's going to be two parts to this. We're gonna do some slides and then I'm gonna do a live demo of our website. If you have questions, feel free to put them in the chat. I will try to answer them as they come up or I will answer them after the session. So to get things started in our introduction to the library, this is gonna focus on what the library looks like this fall at UDC. So this semester, our locations and hours were actually split into two areas. Our main library is building 39 level B. Our hours are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Monday through Friday and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. As we prepare for a remodel and also to allow for social distancing, we now have an extra computer lab in building 71 on the sixth floor. This is also known as 4250 because it is located at 4250 Connecticut Avenue. These extra computers are cubicles, so you can feel free to be spaced out and we do have on-site support if you need it. And the hours there are also Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. We are uh, admitting that these hours could change due to either demand or lack of demand. So if we see a lot of people using it, we may expand our hours. The UDC Library is a part of the Washington Research Library Consortium, also known as WRLC. These are nine local universities, including Georgetown, Gallaudet, Howard, GW, and a few others, and we share print and digital resources. When you search our online catalog, known as UDC Search, you are not only searching the resources at the UDC Library, but all of the resources available to you through WRLC. And if you find a book you like at one of these other universities, you can request delivery to the UDC library. Turnaround time on this is about 48 hours, but it may be longer due to changes caused by the pandemic. We have reference and research support both online and in person. You can email us at ask at udc.libanswers.com. This email goes to every single reference librarian so it can be answered quickly. Turnaround time is usually a few hours if you get to us, or less if you get to us during business hours, and we do check this after hours and on the weekends. We have an online chat service that is built into our website, and I will show you where that is on our webpage when I get to the live demo. In this online chat, you just put in your information and a question, and this is monitored by all of the reference librarians. The phone number for the reference desk is 202-274. 5104. And we also offer appointments both online and in person, and you can make those through our website. The URL is on the screen, but I will also show you how to do that on the website. Our services are fairly extensive. In both locations, both in Building 39 and in Building 71, we offer computers and Wi-Fi. If you are a UDC student, you log in using your UDC email login. If you are not a UDC student, we do offer a visiting login. Printing, photocopying, and scanning are available at both locations, and they will be free this semester once OIT lets us get that up and running. We also have an archives at the Building 39 location, and the archives contains the history of the university and other files re related to the previous institutions that comprise UDC. These archives are available by appointment. We also offer special collections, and these are available through our UDC catalog, and they may be used on site in Building 39. Our circulation services, both where you check out books from our library stacks and where you can pick up books that you've had delivered from WRLC, are located in our Building 39 location. And all you need to do that is to check out, to check out the material. All you need is your UDC One card. Media services are our technical support crew. They are also the ones where, who are in charge of our laptops and our mobile computers. These services are currently located in Building 71. And we also offer reference and su research support online and in person in Building 39. And when it comes to reference and research support, we mean ask us 
a question and we are there to help and nothing is silly. We've answered it all. Our online resources are available through our website at udc.liveguides.com. On our website, we offer research guides by subject, topic, and special interest. I will show you how to locate those when I get to the live demo. We have 225 plus databases and they are listed in our A to Z resource list. There's also more ways you can benefit from the library. Library 101 is our online tutorial in Blackboard, and we're going to have a webinar about this in just a few weeks, so feel free to sign up for that as well. In Library 101, we offer uh, self-paced tutorials and videos and quizzes to help you learn more about library skills, research skills, and information literacy in general. We are also on YouTube. It is where we have tutorial videos and recordings of our previous webinars. If you are a faculty or student who is interested in having a video made, just contact the library and we are happy to provide those. We are also on social media, on Twitter at UDC underscore library, Instagram at UDC underscore library, and Facebook at UDC library. You can also get to these ser services through our website. Now I'm going to end the slideshow. And we are now doing a live demo of our website. And I just want to confirm, do a new share here. There we go. Could someone just say yes, no, they can see the website on the screen. I can see it. They can see it. Thank you. Just making sure with dual monitor setup, you never quite know what's going on sometimes. So this is the UDC library website. The web address for that is udc.libguides.com. And I'm also dropping that in the chat. You can get to us through my UDC, through the main UDC homepage, or if you Google UDC library, we are still the first thing that comes up. And I'm gonna walk through this linearly just to orient you to what is available on the website. The home tab is where we are right now. Library orientation is our guide walking you through the library and research. We recommend you go to this if you're new to the library, if you're new to campus, or if you're new to research. But in case you forget everything I tell you today, that's basically the text version of what we are going through. If you are a faculty member, we have a tab specifically dedicated to faculty. This covers things like our library instruction, our media desk, and various teaching and professional development resources. We offer our FAQs. These are extensive and updated. So whenever you have a question, you can browse here or start typing and see if there's an answer to your question. And this can cover things like, you know, how long can I check out a book for? What are library finds and things like that. It's a great place to start. If you don't wanna ask a librarian directly, the FAQs probably have the answer you need. We also have a contact us tab and this includes every single way you can get in touch with us at the library, both online and in person. Over here on the left-hand side, we have our blog. This is updated pretty regularly. So as you can see, we have information about this webinar series and we have occasional posts that are relevant to what's going on during the semester. So feel free to check that out. This top box is temporary for the time being, but it is where you can make a reservation if you would like to make a reservation to use the library in person. Reservations are not required right now, but they may be if we see overwhelming demands. So we just recommend it because those with reservations basically get dibs on how they can use the library. Over here on the right hand side, this is our chat box. And when it looks like this, it means librarians are live online and ready to answer your question. And you can just fill out the information here. And it's very useful if you put your question here because it helps us triage who should answer that question more quickly. If this box is not active, you will be prompted to send us an email. And as I mentioned earlier, that goes to every single reference librarian. UDC search here, this is our main search box. And this is where you find stuff located, not only at the UDC library, but all of the WRLC libraries. And just to show you what it looks like, I'm gonna put in a quick search for a book that I know exists. And so once you are prompted to go in here, you can see all of the options that are available to you for finding this item on campus. So just to show you interesting things, you can start a new search, you can browse, you can look for specific journal titles, you can search by citation, which is useful if you have a footnote or a bibliographical, uh, I can't say this word, a reference from a bibliography, you can put in the information there and find what you need. 
We also have our A to Z resource list that takes you to our database list and our help page if you get stuck. You can sign in and you can see your personal account there and I will show you what that looks like in a moment. From the search box, you can scroll down, you can see different filters to help you narrow down where things are and information about the books you are trying to find, books or articles. And over here, you can see all the other universities where material is available. Underneath our UDC search bar, we have our A to Z resource list. And on this page, you will see all the databases we have access to. And currently that is 258, and we are adding more material at any time. In the drop-down menu, you can narrow down each database by subject. You can narrow by type. So if your professor said, I want you to search for newspaper articles, you can see our six databases where you can find newspaper articles. The list is alphabetical, so you can jump to a database by letter here, or you can simply scroll. On the right-hand side, we have our most popular databases. So Academic Search Premier, Credo Reference, Space Store, Opposing Viewpoints and Context, these are all very popular databases that are great for doing multi-subject research. If you scroll down, you can also see our new and trial databases, and sometimes we have a survey here asking you, hey, we're thinking of getting this. Let us know what you think if you happen to be in one of those databases. This is where the bulk of your research will occur while you are at the library. If you are off campus and you go to log into one of these databases like I am now, you will be prompted to log in using your UDC email and password. I'm logged into my email elsewhere, so that's why I've automatically logged in here, but you will see that regular login screen if you are on off campus. Also, if you're on off campus and you're asked to log in, you may be prompted to pick if you're an internal or an external user. And that just basically means we're asking you, hey, did the library create your account or did the UDC university create your account? So you are an external user if you are using your UDC email. I know that doesn't make sense, but that is just how it works. If you are on campus, you do not need to worry about logging in. All of these links will work just by clicking on them and you'll be taken straight into the database. Scrolling down. We have a box for about the library. This includes our staff directory with information on how to contact everyone who works with the library. Our borrowing privileges, this is where you can go to learn about how long you can have a book checked out. Our policies, such as our food and drink policy, are located here. We have a digital repository, and this is basically our online um, digital archives. So things created by the university that we have digitized are housed here. And the university is the home of the Felix E. Grant Jazz Archives, and these are located in Building 41, and you can search their catalog and learn more about them here. We have our rotating marketing box here, if you're ever interested in and what it is that we are promoting or things we think you should know, and here's our social media. You can go here and just click through the arrows to learn more. Over here in this box, we have our Contact Us page. Again, our email is ask.udc.libanswers.com, our phone number, and our location. This is where you can also go to schedule an appointment. And when you schedule an appointment, you can click online or on campus. And right now, the Van Ness campus is the only place where we are offering in-person resources. Unfortunately, due to COVID restrictions, we are unable to offer in-person reference at 801 North Capitol. However, we are happy to meet with you online. And so I'm just gonna click here to show you how to do it. So from here, you can pick what sort of assistance you need. If you have a favorite librarian, you can pick them and then you can click the date and the time that works for you. If you do not see a date or time that works for you, please email us. We are happy to accommodate your schedule. Many of us are working parents, so we understand the demands that occur from that. So if you need to meet on an evening or a weekend, just email us and we will find a librarian who is able to meet with you. Back to the homepage now, scrolling over, you can see our current hours each day and you can see our full hours for the semester by clicking on the more hours link. Over here on our quick links, you can have access to Blackboard, My UDC, the Foundation Directory Online, which is very popular if you are looking for funding, and My Library Account. And I'm gonna jump into My Library Account quickly. And this is going to log into my personal library account. And here's that internal external user thing I earlier. So I'm going to click on external user and log in. 
And when you're in your library account, you can see books you have checked out, when they are due, if you have fines and fees, books you have from other schools and things like that. You can also search directly in here and up here with this pin button, you can see items you have saved from the UDC catalog, whether they are saved searches or particular books that you are interested in. You can also renew material in your My Library account uh, if you're looking to renew things online. And finally, in our bottom box here, we have our help guides. And these are our guides that we have created to help you learn how to do research, find particular things, or learn a specific area of research. We have prompted our main help guides here on the page, everything from finding articles and books to learning how to cite sources. But if you click here on the index to research guides, you will be taken to our entire list of guides. And there is a guide for every program of study on campus. So say you're in the Administration of Justice program, if you click on that link, you will be taken to that guide where we have put together a list of articles, books, search tips, and all of that that we think are most applicable to your area of study. So in this case, it is Administration of Justice. And how these look depends on the subject area that they cover, but it's a great place to start if you're just getting started with your research or you want someone to give you a little bit of a boost narrowing down your sources and areas of search. Now I'm going to go back to the home page. And I am here now to answer any questions you may have. That's all we had for you know the presentation part of this, but I am happy to answer any questions you may have. While I give everyone a chance to either unmute themselves and ask it or drop it in the chat, I wanted to thank you for joining us today and remind you that you are welcome to join any of our other webinars. Many of you have already registered for the entire series, which is great, but if you'd like to view more or join an individual webinar, you can get to them through our blog. And this recording will be posted on YouTube later today. And if you've pre-registered for this event, you will be sent a link via email this afternoon. Before we end today, I do wanna ask that you fill out an assessment form for us, which I am copying and putting in the chat so we can learn what you'd like to have from us in the future. So if there are any questions, please ask them now. If not, I will end the recording and we will have time for some unrecorded questions. Right, I'm not seeing anything coming in. So I'm going to again say thank you for today. And I'm going to stop the recording now in case anyone has a question they wish to not be recorded. <laughs>